Well, we got some people watching already. That's good. Do you hear background info with voices here, Scott? Our, our microphones are hot. They can hear us right now. So, yeah. Which is fine. David Samard says, thank you. Nice to be here. I'm going to share this with some groups. Hello everyone, this is Scott Roberts from Explore Scientific and the Explore Alliance, and this is a special edition of Explore Now. Uh, on Explore Now, we like to interview um, just uh, one or two individuals uh, to talk about uh, uh, science and astronomy, uh, their experiences, uh, and their insights. Um, this afternoon, we have Sepide Hushiar. Uh, Sepide uh, was the subject of a 2013 documentary film uh, from uh, Danish uh, uh, director Barrett Madsen, who had uh, learned of Sepide's story of uh, trying to, um, uh, you know, explore space uh, with their telescope, do stargazing. And this is from a small village in Iran where 
you know, she had struggles of uh, going against tradition and, um, uh, you know, her, her community and all the rest of it, but she persevered. Uh, that was when she was 16 years old. Uh, uh, she's now 27. She's a mother, um, uh, married, and uh, she's with us today. So it's going to be really great to have you guys on. Let me bring everybody on here. Um, and also translating um, uh, for Sepide is Farah Payan. Uh, Farah is from Woodland Hills Camera and Telescope uh, and uh, uh, also born there in, in Iran. Uh, so it, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect matchup, uh, I think. And um, uh, so I'll, I'll kind of start off uh, just uh, uh, with um, asking a couple of questions of uh, Sepide. Uh, you know, maybe she can tell the audience um, what it was like to make the documentary, uh, how that documentary might have helped her uh, in her pursuit of science. میتونی در مورد داکیومنتری یه مقداری صحبت کنی و بگی چطوری در مورد علوم کمکتون کرده؟ اول که سلام به همه امیدوارم که روز خوبی داشته باشید. First of all, hello and hope you're having a good day. Yes. Yes, I noticed she, she has the telescope behind her that um, I think it's the same telescope that might have been used in the film. این همون تلسکوپی که تو فیلم استفاده کردید پشتتون. Right. Yes, it is. It's the same. It's the same telescope, actually. Oh, it's wonderful! That's great. That's great. So I, I own the film, and it was really inspiring for me. Um, uh, uh, Sepide, Sepide and I have made uh, Facebook friends years ago, and uh, we've been uh, from time to time catching up with each other. So uh, she is, uh, you know, she's a real inspiration to me. میگه که اسکات با شما دوست رو فیسبوک و خیلی خوشحاله که باتون دوسته. بله برای منم واقعا باعث افتخار هم. The same here she, she says it's an honor to be a friend of Scott. Yeah. Same likewise. And a friend of yours too, Farah. So Oh, <laughs> sir, I have to tell you you're our hero here. <laughs> so um uh uh, did she, did, I, I'm curious if the, uh, if the documentary um, uh, was a positive effect for her over the years or uh, how, how, how did that uh, play out? کمکتون کرده در این فیلمی که ساختین در, you know, در چند سال گذشته یا چجوری این براتون درست شد زندگی به قاطر فیلمی؟ من وقتی که ده سالم بود که دارم بود شد. When she was ten, she lost her father. That's when she started learning about science. Ah. The mother was worried about her because she had to be outside at night. Right. بعد هم موقع هم میگفت که تو باید بشین کنار خونه گریه کنی حالا تو بابات فوت شده نباید بیرون از خونه بری چرا به فکر آسمونی بشین کنار خونه حالا فعلا فکر یه چیزا نکن so she was asking her to just stay at home and be sad because she had just lost her father instead of going out there and looking in the future uh, of her future and this the future of her learning in in the specialty of science right Right. So one time when she was really upset, she um she started arguing with her in the middle of the street. Oh. <laughs> well. So she always knew that the world is a lot larger what she has what what she's seeing at that time. This is a ten year old. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> yes. They finally she finally relinquished and allowed her to go to the observatory. یه شب که ما رفته بودیم اتفاقا همون شبم سیاره زهل از پشت چشمی تلسکوپ دیدم 
و یادم میاد خب خیلی کم سن و سال بودم که پنج بار دور خودم هی میچرخیدم از شوق دیدن سیاره زهر پشت چشمی تلسکو So and the same the first night that she went out she had an opportunity to see Mars and she was so excited about it that she just turned she was just dancing around yeah because <laughs> of being able to see Mars but the همون همون شب مادرم پشت سر من اومده بود که بیاد منو دعوا کنه با اون مربیمون دعوا کنه منو ببر خونه بگو بیا خونه نمیدونم بالاخره همسایه های تو رو دیگه نگاه میکن یا شرایط جوری نبود که من بخوام شب بیرون بمونم So it wasn't really the mom was really worried because of the neighbors knowing that she was out at night Right I, I guess that's that would have been very unusual um you know i i i think uh, even here in this country it would be unusual to see a young young girl going out at night um uh was she going out with a group or alone or how how tanha imi rafti ya ba dostat mi rafti belakhar dostani ham dashtam tanha tanha no she had a group oh that's that's not so so unusual here but so what happened I imagine there it was different. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> so, she says things are a lot different now as opposed to about 17 years ago. Yeah. It's a lot. Is awesome today. Are think me come really awesome. But you have really don't bother in this time of the the children are more interested in learning about science now interesting you know uh fair you and i talked a little bit about um uh you know uh students being interested in science uh uh you know here in in the usa you know it's still i mean if you look at the demographic it's still largely male okay although more and more women and girls are becoming interested in science and astronomy um you know and uh you know i tried to highlight uh, uh all of you know any chance i get to uh highlight these things um uh because you know i have daughters i want them to uh understand that anything in life is possible, you know, and, uh, you know, so I encourage them. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I took uh, my daughters, Raina and Jessica, to see Comet Hayukataki. I would wake them up at, early in the morning. We would drive out to the mountains and go, go see this. And this is something they still talk about. Um, uh, you know, I love the idea that uh, uh, Sepede was able to find peace among the stars. Uh, it's such a traumatic time in her life. And uh and that... yeah, so the night that she was out the mother was out there to admonish her she she saw her being so happy that she decided to withdraw and be happy for her and oh. help her buy her tele first telescope so she the mother wow. became a yeah a compatriot in a roundabout wow. way that that is a good <laughs> that's a good mother that is a very good mother <laughs> <laughs> very very wise very wise mom Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> من خیلی علاقه داشتم به کتاب و همون موقع هم که حالا مدرسه میرفتم کتابای استیون هافکینگ رو 
حتی با اینکه بلد نبودم بین کتاب درسی باید میکردم و نگاهشون کنم واقعا علاقه داشتم so she, she was really interested in science so even when, as she was going to school in the middle of class she would open up Stephen Hawking's books even though she couldn't read them she would just look at them oh wow yeah so yeah so it seems like the osmosis of even how the the these uh uh you know the objects of inspiration around really helped you know i remember in the documentary she had a there was a picture behind her of einstein uh, you know and of, of course uh, anusha ansari her her uh, you know hero uh, uh was was a big part of that movie and uh so uh i was uh i got i got choked up you know i got really kind of emotional when uh anusha called her you know it's it's hard not to uh when you see this this part of the documentary um میگه که انوشا توی داکیومنتری بهتون زنگ زده که اسکات اشکش گرفته بوده انقدر قشنگ بوده آره بهم زنگ زد و اینکه اون همون عکس آلبرت نشتن که توی فیلمم بود همون باعث شد که کارگردان من انتخاب کنه برای یه فیلم وقتی که وارد اتاق من شد و اون عکس رو دید و کتاب خونه رو دید و با من صحبت کرد حتی تو مصاحبه‌هاش مثلا چشمای سپیده به من گفت که بیا از من فیلم بسازم So the director really got interested because of the Albert Einstein pictures and the library in her room and that's yeah. how she decided to make the documentary about her Wow Okay. And how did how did Barrett Madsen find out about her in the first place? بعد ایشون در مورد چطوری در مورد شما فهمیده بودن؟ خب توی اینترنت در مورد یعنی شوهرشون ایرانی بودن. شوهرشون ایرانی بودن. The husband is. رو پیدا کردن و دنبال سوژه بودن برای اینکه فیلم بسازن که منو دیدن. آها. So so apparently um Barrett is married into um in, with an Iranian, okay. and that's how they found out. Oh, so they she she's becoming, I guess, well known in uh, in in her country, and uh, and then it, it kind of worked that way. Okay, very interesting. Um, the point I was making earlier, though, that you know, there's if you look at the demographic here in the United States, and much of you know, if you go into Europe. Uh, different areas, England, um, uh, you know, and definitely all through the Americas, even into Asia, you'll find that most interest in astronomy and science is dominated by men, you know, and boys. And, uh, Older. Um, and, and I'm kind of curious, uh, I've heard, uh, we talked about it earlier, that uh, uh, Mike Simmons, who had been to um that that part of the world he was talking about how girls are so interested in astronomy and science it, it, it is is it that they are in the majority there in in iran because ke tu america hame mardan ke barashun jalebe chiz sitare gari vali tu iran doroste ke migan ke bishtarashun khanum dokhtaray javun hastan آره هم دخترای جوون هم آقایون کار میکنن و الان دخترها خیلی مشتاقن به علم واقعا ام yes it's actually in fact there's lots of girls that are interested in the, in the astro science that's wonderful and is there is there now more opportunity for them uh, uh, because of the work that she's done over the years به خاطر اینکه کاری که شما کردین فکر میکنین آسون تر شده برای بقیه خانوما توی ایران به خاطر کاردایی که فیلم داشت و با هم ارتباط که گرفتن حالا چه توی ایران چه خارج از کشور خیلی خیلی تحت تاثیر قرار گرفته بودن میگفتن که ما خیلی با تو همزاد پنداری کردیم باعث شدی که راهمون باز بشه یکیشون بود که مثلا همسرش فوت شده بود تازه فیلمو دیده بود میگه خیلی روم تاثیر گذاشته یکی دیگه بود میگه از آسمون میترسیدم به واسطه تو باز به آسمون نگاه کردم so yes she says it's just a lot of positive sentiment that was coming through after watching the movie there was a lady who had lost 
a loved one has lost a spouse and oh. went back to looking um, into it, you know, doing astronomy and that helped her, you know, look at life differently. Another lady that was afraid of the sky and because of the documentary, she had gone out there and and looked up and has regained her confidence. Oh, wow. You know, uh, those are some of the themes that we talk about a lot on our programs is, um, you know, basically how good, how astronomy and, and contemplating the universe and your place within the universe is something that is good for you, you know? Virus. Um, برای روح آدم خوبه نگاه کردن به آسمان. قطعاً همینطور. She agrees. Yeah, she's living proof of it. So, uh, which is which is wonderful. Um, uh, Sepede uh, sent me a PowerPoint presentation. Does she want to me to start with the the PowerPoint? میخواید PowerPoint تو نشون بدن؟ آره آره. Yes, please. Okay. All right. So let me. There's one more thing. Okay. خیلی خیلی شبای سختی رو بیامکاناتی و بالاخره وسایلی که نبود مغز استخونمون از سرما تیر میکشید ولی کارمون رو ادامه دادیم من دوبار توی نجوم رسدی توی کشور اول شدم
چه از لحاظ درسی چه بچه ها واقعا برام سخت خیلی سخت یعنی باور نمی کنیم. امروز شاید یک ساعت استراحت نداشتم من She says she's got the really long days because she's going to school apparently right now and she's getting her masters in astrophysics. Wow. Yeah, Great. and she's working really hard with two kids. It's next to impossible to, to right. spend a minute <laughs> Oh my god. on your own. Yeah, well, we're really we're really fortunate to get some of your time Sepede for به خاطر میگم که واقعا یه جای همیشه آدم ناامید میشه دیگه خسته میشه از اینکه بالاخره حالا شرایط براش دور نیست کرونا شرایط چیزایی که میخواد همیشه نمیشه همیشه اون چیزی که ما میخوایم اتفاق نمیفته در واقع با همه تلاشام And you don't achieve what you want, but I don't think I'll ever give up. I'm going to work really hard and achieve what I'm looking for. I think when I had a discussion with her, she said her dream is to to be able to have an observatory in Iran for children so mm. they can come and visit and learn about astronomy. Oh, that would be wonderful. They, You know, I know that they're, from watching the documentary, there was an observatory that they've been trying to build for a long time. And they've had a lot of struggle in getting, uh, you know, things like power for it and to get the building finished and and uh, to get a telescope for it. So that those are all difficult things. Sepede, uh, you know, really carried the torch from a young age to take people out and let them experience the stars. Um, so I, she is uh, definitely uh, one of the seeds of uh, inspiration, you know, there. And, um, you know, and, and I'm glad that the documentary was made because it's still being watched uh, all over the world. And um, uh, I think it has a very, very important message to not give up, okay, no matter how difficult things are, and to, uh, to follow what you know is right. <laughs> زندگیشون برن و بتونن چیزی که میخوان بگیرن واقعا امیدوارم هم طور باشه سوپیا yes. از بالا کاغذ میندازه This is her daughter is sending, is sending notes down below from up above, up above <laughs> I saw it <laughs> It's like it's falling, just falling down <laughs> from the stairs <laughs> she's, got, she, she's, got, she's got a few points she wants to bring across I believe. She, she has, would, she, would she like to do this interview? <laughs> If you leave her alone, she would. Really, you won't need me any longer. <laughs> we'll do her next, okay? Next time. There you we'll, go. We'll do her. Okay, so that's great. Um, okay, so I think I think we're okay to start the PowerPoint. Yes, please. This time. So let me bring it up full screen for you guys. And uh, Angel Kojas. این مدرسه دخترونه است که من دارم در مورد ستاره شناسی توضیح میدم برای بچه‌ها که خیلی خوبم نشون. This is apparently a high school where she's she's teaching the other girls about uh, astronomy. Okay. What what do they learn there? And what what is their program? چه دیگه شون میدی؟ فکرم در اون صورت فلکی ها و کلا اینکه آسمون چجوریه قدیمی ها چطوری فکر میکردن در مورد آسمون How were the, the older people the, the, the people in the 15th, 14th century what were they thinking about it and about our galaxy essentially and our planet, the planets I see Okay You can go to the next Alright, let's see Here we go اونم همون مدرسه است که بچه ها با اشتیاق داشتن در مورد آسمون گوش میدادن که اصلا ستاره ها چی هم so she's still teaching them this is it's amazing how they're all really um, I only see one face there in the middle and they're they seem to be pretty young kids yeah wow and the, um, there's quite a few <laughs> Yeah. How big is her class? Class of how many children? In all the classes, one class is not. 
کل مدرسه this, this is apparently the entire oh the entire, the entire high school i see it's wow مدرسه کجاست دبستان دبیرستان دبیرستان yeah high school high school So is this uh, is this class a required class or is um, or is this like something they can elect to take? Un kelase majburan begiran ya inke mitunan tasmin begiran begiran ya nagiran. Mitunan tasmin begiran ke bashan ya. Yeah. It's optional. So, wow. Yeah, so they 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 took the interest. Wow. It looks like uh, so uh, are are there still students that have no interest or you know uh or is it actually I said yes I'm Barosh and Jolib a lot of them are interested yeah it, it looks like it um and um You know, we see, uh, in, in, at least in the educational outreach community, we see astronomy as a gateway science. You know, uh, you get people interested that may have had no interest in science before. Uh, uh, you know, you get them looking through a telescope, you get them exploring uh, the stars and thinking about distance and size and scale and the fact that, um, you know, we're made of the stars uh does uh and and that can lead to all kinds especially for a young person can lead to all kinds of special interest in science whether it's chemistry or you know physics mathematics tech you know a tech, a tech job engineering uh does she see that happening in iran اول ساینس یعنی اول علم اگه شما تو فکر می‌کنین تو ایران هم اینجوریه وقتی که ببینن برن بیرون آسمون نگاه کنن بعدنا براشون جالبه که چیزای دیگه در مورد علم نجوم یاد بگیرن متوجه منظورتون نمیشم مثلا وقتی که میری آسمون نگاه می‌کنین می‌بینی که مثلا چه ستاره دو قلو هست ستاره دنبال دار هست چقدر دوره اینا رو یاد می‌گیری بعد یواش یواش یاد میگیریم او خب من ببینم چجور چجور کمیکال های توشه بعد یاد میگیری کمیستری بعد یاد میگیری چیزا مسئله وجود داره اینه که ما الان توی شهر خودمونو میگم حالا شاید جای دیگه که شهر بزرگ هستن یا حالا بالاخره درآمد یا چیزی هست این ادامه پیدا میکنه خب ولی الان من یا عالم دختر رو علاق من میکنم هیچ جایی ندارم حتی یه اتاق نیست که مثلا بتونم بهشون آموزش بدم میدونی یعنی هیچی she says the dad she says they're interested but the opportunity aren't there for them to grow in a smaller town maybe in a bigger town that's the opportunity but where she lives is a اسم شهرتون چیه سادات شهر it's a pretty small town it's a pretty small village So, so the kids don't have the opportunity to grow with it, whereas if you go into main towns and or you know the capital city, the opportunities sure. are far more enormous. Yes. Man, خیلی دارم خیلی رویای بزرگ بزرگ من اینه که خودم خودم بتونم یه رسات خونه آموزشی برای بچه ها به خصوص دخترها درست کنم که Yeah, she does. Uh, yeah, she says that her biggest, as I mentioned, her biggest dream is to build an observatory in her town for the for the girls, yeah. especially for the little girls. Right. Well, I hope that. Can yeah. And she's working really hard towards it. Yes, she'll make it happen. I think so too. Yeah, I have every confidence in Sepede. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, positive attitude springs everything. That's right. This is an ele- elementary. Oh my goodness! Look at this. It's all girls. Elementary school is all girl. Elementary school. Oh, it's um, an all girl uh, elementary school. Okay. Yeah, go back. Uh, how old? You know, chance solution. Uh, being a half. 
تا ده یازده سال بودم seven to eleven years old wow wow wonderful and um, she's teaching them این شما این دارین بهشون یاد میدین اگه من توی تصویر نیست ولی آره من دارم براشون صحبت میکنم she's talking to them about science of astronomy yes wonderful تلسکوپتون رو میبرین شبا بعضی وقتا نشون بدین خب معمولا ما اولش که برای بچه ها توضیح میدیم که خب توی مدرسه هست خیلی وقتا این علاقه رها میشه دیگه میگم که چون امکاناتی نیست رسد خونه به اون شکل درست نیست خیلی نمیتونیم دیگه اینا رو بیرون ببریم فقط یه علاقه انگار داریم ایجاد میکنیم so she says it's just a little exposure is all it is because they don't have an opportunity to go to an observatory and or look through a telescope at night right و همشان مثل من سفت و محکم نباشن and they might not be as as interested as she is so therefore it becomes just a, maybe a passing interest she says she does her very best to see if there is an interest in any of them to to put take her under her wing and teach them teaches them more sure she does her best you know nighttime uh, activities for young students is a problem all over the world um, uh, parents often are reluctant to let them go out at night um, and uh, you know so uh, unless they're with their parents at a very special situation where there's an observatory or a planetarium or a neighbor that has a telescope or something um, you know you still find I find all the time when I do educational you know, outreach type of work. I, I meet people my age. I'm in my 60s now. I meet people my age that have never looked through a telescope ever in their whole lives, you know, and, you know, you show them Saturn for the first time and they're like, wow, they can't believe it. And I'm standing there, like, not believing they never tried to look through a telescope, <laughs> you know, so... Because... <laughs> تلسکوپ نگاه نکردن ولی اگه بچه ها بتونن با, پرن... با مادر پدراشون بیان شاید این یه موقعیتی بشه آه. که شما بتونین آره ما... شبام این کارو بکنین انشالله حتما و اینکه من واقعا تلاش میکنم و مطمئنم این اتفاق یه روزی میافته همینطور که ما داریم تلاش میکنیم و توی شهرمون حداقل اینه که مردم کمابیش و آسمون با واژه آسمون و اینا آشنا هستن یعنی مثلا اسم من بیاد میگن فلانی ستار شناسه در این حد مثلا نجوم کار میکنه <laughs> right but she says that actually in her town there are just about a lot of people are they have some familiarity about looking up in the sky and it's because of Safide okay. and, and because she's so well known in her little <تصفيق> درس میخوندم دانشگاه برای امتحانام با پدر همسرم می اومدن من موقع امتحانام صوفیا با هم می اومد تا لحظه آخر دیگه بعد من امتحان می دادم و من so she she says she studies with Sophia being around all the time and even at the time of exam yeah. Sophia and the dad they come together until the last minute and make sure she goes into the examination and then she leaves she's extremely interested in astronomy wow she looks wow. like a spunky little girl yes she does, <laughs> she does. that's great <laughs> Um, again, the same high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, خب, 
تلاش میکنیم که مردم رو با علم آشنا کنیم یعنی که از هر فرصتی استفاده میکنم الان این تاکسی تلفنی های رایگان هست که مردم استفاده کنن که با واژه مثلا نجوم و علم آشنا بشن چطوری؟ یعنی به خاطر که هفته نجوم هست کمک میگیرن از این ور اون که نخوام پول بدم با اون تاکسیه که میرن پول نمیدن به خاطر oh that there are different people that donate their their businesses and their time when there is a week of astronomy so like the taxi driver right here and it says right on there that the tax this this is a um this is a free transportation because of the week of astronomy wow so okay. <laughs> so if you get so وقتی میری تو تاکسی در مورد نجوم باش صحبت میکنن نه حالا برای نحضه به آسمون فکر میکنن یعنی که اینطور نیست که حالا در مورد نجوم باش صحبت کنن ولی یه بحانه این میشه که به آسمون فکر کنن so it's, 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 pro, promo, it's some sort of a promotion for, for astronomy for yes, the week of wonderful. astronomy actually so different businesses donate their business and their time that is wonderful this is priceless it is it sure is <laughs> <laughs> I don't, uh, you know, they have, uh, they have a, uh, uh, a science um, fair in LA every year. You know, it'd be nice if all the uh, taxi drivers gave free rides to it, you know, so. <laughs> That's right. Okay, we're in a boys school, I understand. Is that right? Kujayi Malo and Sepidejo. الان هم یه برنامه برای نجوم هست که خورشید رو دارن رساد میکنن لکه های خورشید کلپ های خورشیدی رو میکنن so they're looking at sunspots کجاست؟ یه کانونه یه جایی که کلاس های فرهنگی برگزار میشه ولی خب الان در نجوم دارن توضیح میدونم پس مدرسه نیست؟ نه مدرسه نیست Oh, it's it, it's an extracurriculum program outside of the schools that um, that's what they do. They have extra classes that they talk about the solar um, solar astronomy and looking at the sunspots. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. این هم که آش نجومیه در واقع یه غذای میپزن و مثل همون قضیه تاکسیه همه دور هم جمع میشن و به مناسبات هفته جهانی نجوم یه جورای جشن میگیرن so they're celebrating the week of um, astronomy by donating food and getting wow. people to get together and talk about, uh, talk about astronomy that is so cool <laughs> that is so cool How many people live in this uh, so-called small town that she lives in? people are celebrating astronomy. That's it awesome. Seems that, it seems that way. <laughs> it's awesome. It's, it's thanks to Sepi Day. I think that's an amazing accomplishment. I think so too. <laughs> Okay, the today, um, look at those posters. No. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it says, the, um, wow, it says, congratulations for the day of astronomy on that big writing there in black. Um, wow. So they're having a uh, little. We congratulate everyone for the day of astronomy. Uh, and then there is a date on another one, and I can't read the rest of it, but it's their kids that are taking interest. Yeah. Good for you. My gosh. Heartwarming. Yes. Very careless, Epide Jun. Enjoy your chabare. Madam. That's Epide. That's Epide. <laughs> wow. She says that the, the kids had, had believed that she, she might actually be an uh, uh, um, an astronaut. Astronaut, thank you. Wow. An astronaut. You know, one day she might be. I mean, she certainly. Yeah, you never know. Age, she mumkin ay yaruz be she malum nis. She lives in the age of uh, space tourism, so. Has for barima. 
انوشا از سنش از شما بیشتر بود وقتی که رفت بله همینطوره واقعا That would be nice if uh, SpaceX or Blue Origin or I you know, know. or Virgin Galactic said, hey, you know, we're going to sponsor uh, a flight for yeah. uh, Sepede. That would, that would, would be would, cool. Would Sepede go if, if she was uh, invited? If you were a person, for example, if you were a person, I would say, I would say, I would say, She says, I can't I even, know. yeah, but how can you say no? She says, of course right. I would. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. She says, the thought of being an astronaut makes me all excited. Yes, sorry, I'm, I'm lost a little bit here. That's, uh, I don't know what happened. My goodness, that's it, that, the last the image I think was your spouse. The was it? The first I'll here. show how to tune Here we go. Let me go back to where we were. In show how to tune in. Angel Kojas. اینا که کلا کارای ترویجی ام هست میخوان عکسی که کنار درخت ها هستیم رو She wants she says can you find the picture that they're next to the trees? Next to the trees? They're doing free ice cream here for Astronomy Day. Okay. And the post that's what the poster is talking about. I see. No. I see. And then the food no. and then the and yeah, there's yeah. The next that's where we were. Okay. Yeah, this is I think this is the husband, right? In Shoharitune. Oh, she's at, he's at work teaching people about um, about solar astronomy. I see. That's the two of them together. That's separate. By the tree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> he's been very supportive of her, from what I understand. That's great. That that's right. That's right. Uh, apparently they had. زمانی بود که موقعی که لیسانس درس میخوندم خیلی ناامید شده بودم و گفتم که نه من دیگه نمیخوام ادامه بدم خیلی سخت من بچه کوچیک دارم نشست دقیقا یادمه که قابلمه قذار گذاشتم زمین گفتم من نمیخوام ادامه بدم برام خیلی سخته گفت سپیده این روزا میگذره ولی ده سال دیگه اگه ادامه ندی پشیمون میشی و واقعا از از ممنونم با تمام وجودم She says he's an amazing support. Apparently, a few years back when she was undergraduate, she was having a difficult time with, with small children. Hmm. And she had decided not to continue. But he insisted and said, you know what? You, if you stop now, you're going to regret it in 10 years. Yeah. So no, she, she, he actually pushed her to go on and, and study. And, oh, that's good. And that's do what she does what she does. Yeah. This is another solar day. Oh, that's Sophia. That's her daughter. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, when uh, Sophia was born, I remember Sepede sending me pictures of her when she's just a baby. Uh, and she would hold her near the eyepiece and, uh, you know, uh, with her. I think there was a picture of her as you go on. Yeah, this picture. Oh, this is when she was little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. One or two years old. There you are. So cute. She is cute. Is that it? Shaboy Rasad. No. Shaboy Rasad has ke ba ham saram ke Rasad mirafti max kerefti. This is when we were going out together to view. Okay. که خیلی آسمون خوبی داره. اینم دانشگاهی بود که میافتم ساعت آفتابی سوفیا کنارش عکس گرفت. Oh, it's it's a, a a solar a solar clock. Yes. With Sophia. Yes. These are again, I believe, the same day. So it's astronomy day event. Yes. Oh, is this you know me hosting a show? No, no, no. When I'm kept shut, but I'm shutting you. He has. We can't get the time on his in our nation. But I can't. As I should be exactly. Okay.
Okay, this is um, the night of, of Yuri. Yuri. Right. Oh. Yuri Gagarin, the first yeah, uh, yeah. astronaut. Yeah. Correct. They, apparently, they celebrate that. Is it a birthday or something of his? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, it's a celebration of Yuri's Night. It, uh, it's called Yuri's Night, and uh, it's mm. celebrated all over the world. Okay. Uh, Children. Yes. I remember. Oh, there you, there she is. Yeah, I Sophia remember that. and the telescope. Wow, yeah. that's a really nice telescope. That's right. Did the TV show the telescope? The day of Nujum is here with Sophia. Astronomy Day with Sophia. Yeah, the space posters and planets and moons and ringed planets. In am ke dokhtaray yeki az kelasay hamun madrasa hastan. All the girls together celebrating. It's a priceless photo. That's great. Love that. Oh, that's Anusha. Okay. Wow. So she has stayed in touch with Anusha over these years. That's great. Now, for you in the audience that don't know who Anusha is, she is the she is the first Persian. Um, uh, female astronomer, uh, astronaut. She uh, spent time on the International Space Station. She flew abo ab aboard a Soyuz uh, spacecraft to get to the space station. And um, well, if you buy the documentary, you'll see the whole story and the connection between uh, Sepide and Anusha. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. I think this is it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you know, me in Oh, this is the this is the image she wants to talk about. Oh, she wants to talk about this one. Okay. In Chile. In my zamin dashti mage yadetun bache. She she they owned a piece of land. و اینکه همسرم همه هزینه‌ای که ما یه مدت از شهر خودمون دور رفتیم و همسرم decided to leave town. Go to, the, go to that piece of land. Okay. همه پس انداز اون سالامون رو با همه نیازایی که داشتیم بالاخره همسرم جمع کردن و اومدیم یه سری درخت کاشتیم که از سود این درخت ها همون رسد خونه که همیشه رویاشو دارم و خیلی دوست دارم یه جای علمی و گردشگری, گردشگری باشه بسازم. که متاسفانه درخت به خاطر سرما خوش شدن و بی نتیجه مون. So they, they actually husband and wife took all of their entire saving and uh, planted empress trees. Oh wow. But due to cold weather unfortunately and they wanted to do that because they wanted to get the proceed off of the empress trees and you know build a um, an observatory for for children in right. their own village and what happened was that the cold weather um, caused uh, the the trees not to yeah to, the trees not oh. to bear fruit. Oh no. She says she's going to try again later. Okay. To find another way of building her her dream observatory. Right. Are as um, are these empress trees? Um, do they normally grow in this region or is this a uh, نگاه کرده بودین که میتونین تو این هوای امپرسری درست کنین یا اینکه معمولا اونجا درست میشه امپرسری میشه این درختا رو درست کرد یا نه یه چیز جدیدی بود این منطقه ولی ما خیلی دعوادش تحقیق کرده بودیم که متاسفانه نشد she says that it was a brand new it was a brand new tree in that in that environment even though they've done a lot of home they had done a lot of homework about it it didn't materialize it didn't materialize i see well don't give up <laughs> don't give up <laughs> absolutely not. yeah she's trying to make it okay well um 
is uh, um, I'm I'm really encouraged to see you know all the great work she's doing in uh, in her village and that uh, the spirit of Sepide uh, continues on and um, you know I I mean she's still very very young uh, her uh, her um, her personality uh, really came across in the documentary. And of course, it's coming across here right now. And so it's it's nice to know how authentic and genuine she is. And, um, you know, I know that she is. You know, 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 به گذشته که نگاه میکنم فکر میکنم که با همین سختی هایی که دارم و داشتم پشیمون نیستم اصلا و شادم she is very happy doing what she has done and she is very happy with the results that's wonderful that's wonderful what advice would Sepede give to um, to other young women around the world and girls what what advice does she give them چی دوست داری؟ اگه بخوای یه دونه یه چیزی به بچه های کوچولو یاد بدی چی دوست داری بهشون بگی؟ به دخترای کوچولو، دخترای جوان. بگم که فراتر از چیزی که می‌بینین و ببینین. Oh, dream beyond what you see. Yeah. Expand your horizon, I suppose, huh? Yes. That's wonderful. Is there anything else that Sepede would like to say uh, before we conclude our program? چیز دیگه میخوای بگی قبل از اینکه ما برنامه‌مون تموم بشه؟ میخوام بگم که سعی میکنم هر جوری که باشم تجربه‌های جدید پیدا کنم، پیشرفت کنم، فیلم ببینم، حتی حالا تا قبل از اینکه درس میخونم، تا اینکه دید بهتری نسبت به دنیا داشته باشم. با تمام وجودم تلاش میکنم که ترویج علم انجام بدم هر جای دنیا که باشم و بتونم برم و دخترای زیادی رو علاقمند کنم و با تمام قدرتم برای همه دخترا میجنگم واقعا اگه امکان شده داشته باشم she says she, she would love very much to expand her horizon even more and do her very best to bring the science of astronomy to the girls all over the world that's her ultimate dream is her just bringing dream. astronomy well, if we can help Women. in any way that we can, uh, you know, I'm I'm happy to help her spread the word for sure. میشه دیسکات خیلی خوشحال میشه که بتونه داستان زندگی شما رو و علاقه که به آسمون دارین در موردش صحبت کنه همه جا. ممنونم واقعا ازشو خیلی تشکر کنم تو این طول سالها که بالاخره با هم دوست بودیم همین توجهشون و پیگیریشون خیلی منو خوشحال و امیدوار می‌کرد واقعا ازشون ممنونم she says you were an amazing encouragement to her over the years really you know I, you were yeah you were it's a only, part of her for it's only because that, I was so inspired by I'm her not really I'm not really surprised hmm. you do you, you. <laughs> yeah well, thank you. Thank you so much, Sepede, for spending time with us. Farah, thank you for your amazing translations. Uh, we could not have done this without you. Uh, my so pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure. Uh, hopefully you'll be my partner in crime to help uh, Sepede uh, uh, expand her horizons even more. Absolutely. So. It'll be my pleasure. Okay. <laughs> Great. All right, Sepede, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And to the audience, I'm going. You know, I'm going to recommend that you try to buy the DVD or um, or to download uh, the documentary, like I did. I, I downloaded it on iTunes. So it's Sepide reaching for the stars. Um, you know, you got to hear from her firsthand, but, uh, uh, you know, you will absolutely be inspired by her story and, um, uh, you know, and 
you know, as, as I always like to repeat, <laughs> it's so, it's so kind of tongue in cheek anymore, but um, my old friend, Jack Horkheimer uh, would always say, keep looking up after his shows. And, uh, you know, so it, it is a nice, it is a nice way to end. And so uh, thank you, um, uh, everyone again, Sepede, thank you and, and wishing you good luck to you and your husband, your daughter and uh, your family and uh, to all those those young children in the schools that you're affecting every day. So thank you very much. Thank you. Merci. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.